Meta's haptic feedback glove lets you touch things in the metaverse. Ever saw the movie Ready Player One? It was one hell of a movie. But do you remember the gadgets that were used in that? The gadgets which could make touches possible in VR. Facebook, or we should call it Meta, have completed a same device that could give us that same experience. It also got into problems. And what are those? Stay tuned with us till the end and find out more about it. Hello everyone, be sure to press the subscribe button to get connected with us and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the first visit on every new video we upload. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has been continuously working to make its idea of the metaverse a reality. We have seen the company demo many new technologies in the AR VR department, including an AR-based variable that lets users interact with virtual objects. But taking it all one step further, researchers at the Meta Reality Labs have developed full-fledged working gloves. But not just any glove, it's a haptic glove lined with tiny motors that use bursts of air to mimic the sense of touch, and it looks like a wearable nightmare. Meta is calling these the haptic gloves, as they essentially deliver relevant haptic feedback to users to make them feel that they are touching or holding a virtual object in their hands. The company says it has been working on the technology for the past seven years. Although it started as a moonshot project initially, Meta now has all the necessary technologies to make it a real product. The company unveiled the haptic gloves via an official blog post recently. In the post, the company detailed the journey of developing the wearable. It also mentioned the specific scientific fields in which the Reality Lab's researchers worked for the past years to make the haptic gloves a tangible device. As per Meta, the researchers worked on perceptual science, soft robotics, microfluidics, hand tracking and haptic rendering technologies to reach the current development phase of the haptic gloves. At this stage, even though in all the pictures the gloves look unfinished, they actually work. But still, some people love this freaky handgear. Built by Meta Reality Labs, the prototype haptic glove is designed to work with the virtual reality systems of the future. Most VR headsets for now currently work in Congress with controllers equipped with joysticks and buttons, which just doesn't feel right. The Meta Quest and Quest 2, more Reality Labs products, also offer controller-free hand tracking, which uses the camera on board the headset and computer vision algorithms to interpret what your hands are doing and translate that motion into the virtual world. So for now, when you make the motion of picking up an apple in VR, your actual hand would not feel the sensation of holding an apple. But now that could change. Meta's prototype haptic gloves uses principles from soft robotics and employs pneumatic and electroactive actuators to quickly inflate tiny air pockets on the fingers and palm of the glove. These actuators are essentially tiny motors that can create the sensation of pressure and hence touch. The idea here is that if Meta could fit thousands of these actuators onto a haptic glove and combine those sensations with the visual input of a VR headset or augmented reality glasses, which project digital images onto the real world, the wearer could reach out and feel virtual objects. With gloves like these, you might one day shake the hand of someone else's avatar in the metaverse and feel the squeeze. Okay, we get the tech, but what's the problem here? Well, VR has historically been the realm of really serious gamers, and that's a potential problem for Meta and its grand plan for the Metaverse. If Mark Zuckerberg wants everybody using his Metaverse products, much like the nearly 3 billion people who use Facebook, he's not doing himself any favors by leaning into the sci-fi inspired inventions his Reality Labs is churning out. Haptic clothing is a futuristic concept, but it's also very weird and potentially invasive. Would you like Meta Facebook logging data about your body movements through a special glove or scanning your brainwaves through a bracelet? Yeah, the Meta Quest hand tracking technology does collect and store data about your movements. This might seem innocent enough if you're playing a round of the popular VR game in your living room. It's more concerning when you imagine a world in which you do much of your computing through a VR headset or AR goggles, which is essentially what Zuckerberg thinks the future of the internet will be like. Now, to be honest, there are plenty of reasons to believe that the metaverse and living life through a pair of internet-connected glasses could be cool. In the meantime, immersive VR technologies are proving useful for more and more non-gaming applications. 
Now the same day that Meta Reality Labs showed off its prototype haptic glove, the Food and Drug Administration authorized a VR system for treating chronic pain. And this isn't even the first VR treatment that's won FDA approval this year. Some people are saying that Meta's haptic glove is another distraction, like Facebook changing its name to Meta in the midst of a historically bad scandal and ensuring that everyone would be talking about the metaverse for weeks to come. Still, to some people, this project seems cool and relevant to Meta's plan to build a metaverse, where someday people wearing smart glasses might want a computer to recognize what they're looking at. Sure. But to the other half, it seems worrisome, at best, that the company that wants to own a sizable chunk of the metaverse, the next generation of the internet, is the same company that many say is destroying democracy. And that's not all the issues that Meta needs to deal with. Now, a haptics company, HaptX, claims Meta copied its patented designs in a glove that the tech giant revealed recently. Haptex, a longtime player in the virtual and augmented reality industry, says parts of the glove appear substantively identical to its own work using pneumatics to simulate physical touch. Haptex, founder and CEO Jake Rubin himself, issued a statement stating, We welcome interest and competition in the field of microfluidic haptics. However, competition must be fair for the industry to thrive. While we have not yet heard from Meta, we look forward to working with them to reach a fair and equitable arrangement that addresses our concerns and enables them to incorporate our innovative technology into their future consumer products. The Meta Glove is an in-progress design that won't be commercialized for years, if ever. However, Meta Reality Labs believes touch is a vital piece of future consumer focus to VR AR systems. The glove uses inflatable rubber pads and a sophisticated control system to create a sensation of pressure or resistance when users touch virtual objects. Haptex developed a similar inflation-based system that it sells to professional clients rather than consumers. Haptex, formerly known as Axon VR, debuted publicly in 2016 after four years in stealth mode. Meta researchers say they developed their first glove prototype in mid-2015 not long after the tech giant acquired VR startup Oculus. Meta has already been accused of unfairly competing against VR software developers by cloning their products while limiting access to the Quest platform. This situation is slightly different because Haptex is accusing Meta of direct patent infringement, something that could potentially lead to legal action. When asked about, Haptex declined to comment on what it would consider a fair agreement with Meta, as well as whether it might pursue a lawsuit if it fails to reach one. A Meta spokesperson also declined to comment on the allegations, so we can clearly see a long legal war between these two in the coming future. Let's just hope it doesn't delay the delivery of the next-gen tech. Now coming to the availability of the haptic gloves, Meta says that it is still in its early stage of development. The researchers will continue to work on the project to make the wearable more user-friendly. They will be able to pair with your VR headsets and eventually with AR glasses, such as the Ray-Ban stories in the future. However, it might take a few more years before we can get a pair of Meta's haptic gloves from nearby stores. Other than the glasses, one of the key pieces of stepping into the metaverse is a headset. While Facebook already has a popular product in Oculus Quest 2, it has already expressed its intention of releasing a more powerful device. The new headset, codenamed Project Cambria, will be a high-end device with a matching price tag. Reports have suggested that this might be the rumored Oculus Pro with a powerful processor, high-resolution screen, and improved hand tracking. Mark Zuckerberg said last month that the firm plans to unveil this headset next year. So thankfully, we don't have to wait for long like the haptic gloves. That's it for the day, guys. What do you think about these new technologies? Let us know in the comments below. And thank you for watching the video so far. We appreciate it so much. If you liked our efforts, then leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And also, don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. This is us signing out, guys. See you all in the next one. Until then, peace out.